Ladies and gentlemen, American Cheer and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News. We're always sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Shoga. Check us out on all of our platforms. Well, the lead story is there's going to be a governor's debate at NKU tonight at 6 p.m. Uh, no audience members. This is going to be the questioners between Cameron and Bashir. Uh, it is going to start at 6 p.m. They're going to have Kentucky journalists. Uh, it can be aired uh, on, uh, let me see, Bowling Green on NBC, 40 starting at 6 p.m. on Monday night. There's going to be an anchor on WCPO. I'm assuming WCPO is going to air it. All right, long cry, 911 road rage call. A newly released 911 call shows moments after a Boone County man accused pointing a gun at a family in a road raid incident. Uh, what did this start over? I guess I wasn't going fast enough. <laughs> Unbelievable. A Henry County bank robber. How do you like that? On Saturday at apparently 10.59 a.m., Kentucky State Police Post 5 reported a robbery at United Citizens Bank in Newcastle. The subject's a white male heavy set build. No arrests made. All right, Pike County teacher is accused of not reporting a relationship between a minor and a teacher. They're going to charge him with that? Christopher Sawyers, 41, was charged, failing to report it. All right, Bond Hill, man, accused of dropping a woman's body from an apartment window. Anthony Howard, pictured there. Crazy. Cheryl Bennett is charged with murder, was arrested again for breaching the terms of her being out. LaFontez Davis is the one that's being charged with the murder in Over the Rhine. Boiling water. Evan Walker threw wa boiling water on her ex. That's a bad fight breakup, isn't it? In local news, Covington wants reimbursement from the PNG stop force destruction protest on the Roebling Bridge. More pickleball courts are now at Richardson Road in Independence. Pickleball's hot in Independence. I can tell you, you got to wait in line sometimes. Scott High School has opened their new aquatic center. They're going to hold lots of meets. They've had one there forever, but this is a new one. Ludlow Rail Yard is going to be an historic site. And Kim Banta had the ethics complaint against her drop. In Kentucky, Bashir leads Cameron, you know, less than a couple weeks, less than a month. He's got a billion more than Cameron. A man was shot at a Louisville gas station and died over the weekend. I wonder if that was over gasoline prices. A Keeneland lobbyist pictured here, nice lady, has passed away. Former Greenup County Sheriff has been charged. Sheriff Keith Cooper, money, 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 improperly obtained. A Louisville father can't reach his family. He assumes they are all dead. They were studying abroad. Adam Sloan has been convicted of selling fake masks. Lexington businessman. In Ohio, Ford is laying off about 260 people from their Sharon, 306, my bad, from their Sharonville plant. House has passed a bill to help people ease their pain on their property taxes going up. A Cincinnati plane headed from Philadelphia to CVG was re uh, evacuated, turned back. We don't know what the issues were. And Colerain, I gotta find this story. Da 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 da. Colerain Township is gonna build a firehouse where the football players and the cheerleaders play. So sports loses out to a new firehouse. Palestine protesters, that many people showed up in downtown Cincinnati. Crazy. Mike DeWine gave reprieve to three death row inmates in the Ross Prison Center. Ohio prisons, they're going to be more full. Why? Because they're up in the penalties for drug offenses involving fentanyl, fentanyl and meth. Traffic and arrest. Somebody who has been trafficking humans has been arrested. Do you believe this goes on? I can't believe it goes on. Prepaid funeral contracts are not a protected uh, trademark according to the Ohio Supreme Court. And last but not least, on Saturday, there was a forum for the United States Senate. Dolan, Marino, and the rest of them. Boring, boring, boring forum. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.